Hello friends, good morning, it is Monday. I am in the office, I checked the plates that we were drying on Friday and they were not quite dry, so I put them back to dry for 30 minutes. Then I'm gonna put more plates to dry, but today we are going to be checking the growth of the microalgal cultures that we were growing last week to see how much they've grown and if they're ready for the bioassay. And then if they're ready, we're going to transfer them to the plates to allow the microalgae to grow in the plates alongside my compounds to see if my compounds will prevent their growth. But for now, I am just planning the week and I'm looking over my emails also. I'm just having my cup of tea while I sort myself out. And I don't think I've told you guys, but I've actually been invited to review a paper for a journal, which is really, really exciting. So I've just realized I only have 10 days left to send in my review for the journal. So this will be my first experience as a reviewer in a journal, which is very exciting. And I do not want to be that nasty reviewer too. I want to be nice and constructive. So I'm very excited. I'm super grateful that as a PhD student, I have been offered this opportunity because I feel like like PhD students are really clued up in their field because we are constantly reading the literature, we're constantly learning and learning. So I think it's a nice opportunity for us to share kind of our knowledge and, con and contribute to the field in a different way by reviewing papers which are really important for research. So yes, I'm super grateful for this opportunity and I think it's a great addition to my CV also. So as you will have seen, we've been working with algae just now. We are going to take the chlorophyll concentration to determine how much they've grown and then make the necessary dilution for adding to the plate. But I just wanted to update because I just checked my YouTube analytics and I have reached 4,000 watch hours, which is very exciting. This means that I can basically be monetized on YouTube and I can start to make money from my videos, which is so, so exciting. I will speak about it more uh, later on. Yes, I just wanted to document this, more, this moment because I am very, very, very excited. Lydia, est-ce que tu as fait? Qu'est-ce que je veux faire Je suis en train de repiquer mes bactéries marines okay. pour euh, les faire revivre. Pour les bio -assez? Yes. Yes, okay. on les prépare justement pour les prochains tests. C'est okay. les bactéries qu'on utilise pour euh, les tests anti-fouling sur bactéries. Pour le prochain test Yes. Okay. So Lilia is reviving her marine bacteria because she is also going to do anti-fouling bioassay but with bacteria. So similar to what I do in the lab in Aberdeen. Très bien, Lilia. <laughs> I don't think I gave you an update on why yesterday was so hectic but basically yesterday we were seeing how well the algae had grown over the five days but it turns out that the lab here has been using a different medium than they used to use before when they wrote the protocol so it turns out that they don't need so many days to grow because when we were measuring them in the spectral photometer the values were like through the roof which meant that we weren't even getting a value it said it was out of the limits so basically we couldn't use the, bacte the bacteria the algal cultures yesterday we had to use different algal cultures which were less concentrated and less grown for one of the cultures they were okay so we're currently in the stage of trying to develop the method a little bit uh, to make sure that the cultures don't grow too much before we add them to the plate so that's what we were doing all day yesterday whereas we were supposed to be actually plating up three different species of algae yesterday in in the plates but we only managed to do one but it's okay we're going to do the rest of them tomorrow because we made new cultures yesterday and we're allowing them to grow until tomorrow so yep yeah, it's all trial
trial and error and of course all of the problems had to come on Monday which always seems to happen. I'm feeling a little bit sick today, I've had a sore head yesterday and my throat has been a bit scratchy. I don't think it's coronavirus, it sound, it's nothing like the symptoms for coronavirus. I think um, just a bit sick, probably a cold or a flu or something from traveling. We're powering through. Um, today is mainly just a computer day. I am going to review the paper that I think I mentioned yesterday because I really need to crack on with that. Yeah, it's gonna be relatively chill today, which is quite nice compared to yesterday because it was absolutely hectic. <laughs> friends i'm going to keep this short because i don't want to irritate my throat but it's 1 30 and i'm now back from the university basically what we had tried to do today we couldn't with the three other species of algae because the machine that we need to use is being used by during the next 24 hours by someone else so that meant that i could have stayed there and did some work on the computer but i'm not feeling very well as you might be able to hear my throat is so sore i hardly slept last night because i was coughing so much so i've been to the pharmacy and got some uh, syrup so i'm going to take that now and i've also been drinking honey and lemon water to try and help my throat and i'm also going to do a covid test just to make sure because that is still the world that we live in unfortunately but cross your fingers for me that it's not covid because then i'll have to isolate for seven days but i am fairly certain that it is not covid because i do not feel terrible in my whole body it's just my head so i think it's a head cold anyway i'm going to stop speaking let's do the covid test Okay, so because of those inconclusive results Hello, it's Jessica from the future popping in here because I did not explain what those inconclusive results were So basically I couldn't remember if I'd looked at the test after the allotted time or before But I basically saw a very 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 faint line Which you could only see in some light so I was a bit unsure whether that was positive or whether it was negative So that's why I got another test. Okay back to the video. I have a uh... Got myself another COVID test from the pharmacy. It was three euros 35 for one test, which I personally thought was quite expensive, but <sighs> let's do this one and we'll see what happens. Hello friends, it is Thursday. I am still not feeling very well. I did not sleep very well last night again. I woke up at about uh, 2 a.m. and then uh, managed to get back to sleep, but then woke up at five and yeah. It's just not been great. My throat is still sore, as you can probably hear. I'm coughing a lot, my nose now is dripping a lot, and my head is very, very sore. But we need to go into the lab because we need to do the algae today. Yeah, <laughs> I don't feel good. Uh, it's going to be a very, very hot day today, according to the weather. Yeah, my brain isn't working. Probably won't chat much today. Sorry. <laughs> I thought I would wear a mask today just to be respectful to my colleagues because I am literally coughing and sneezing 24 7. Oh, I just wish colds did not exist. That would be nice. I can't remember if I showed this the other day, but when we are testing the algae to see how much they have grown, we have to put them in the fridge covered so they don't grow anymore. And these tubes include the filter, which has absorbed all of the chlorophyll from the sample, and methanol to help extract the chlorophyll. So we're leaving them for 30 minutes to extract the chlorophyll, and then we'll do the measurement on the spectrophotometer. And this is our workstation that we are using this morning. wanted to explain briefly what I'm up to. So at the back here, um, I've made dilutions from the stock uh, algal cultures. And now the diluted cultures, I am going to put into the plates alongside my sample. So 
this is what I'm going to be up to for the next little while. It should be very quick and easy. I'm just putting the algae into the correct wells using my plans that I have here, which also tells me my controls and everything also. So here we go. So I have made a very rash decision and I've decided to go to the beach. Now, I've never been to this beach before. It's not very close. I need to get a bus. It's half past seven. I just want to embrace the warm weather, to be honest. We don't really get, well, we don't get 30 degree weather in Scotland. So I want to make the most of this, even if it's just for an hour. I can read my book. I can do some journaling and hopefully it'll help cure this situation I have going on. So let's go and get the bus. Happy Friday. I'm still not 100%. I'm a little bit better. Yeah, hopefully by tomorrow it'll go away because my friend Heather is coming to visit tomorrow. So Heather is someone that I met during my master's research project when I went to France for three... I didn't go to France, but I went to Italy for three months. And she's also from the UK, but she's in France on holiday and her and her boyfriend are gonna come and drive and meet me. So that's what you'll see in the next vlog. So I want to be better for them coming. Anyway, got the kettle on, I'm gonna make my honey lemon water and then we're gonna to go to the lab. But we've got lots of work to do with the algae today. So we have just set everything up. We are ready to go to put the algae into the plates to let them incubate again to see how the compounds affect the growth. Only one of the algae were ready today. So the other two we have revived and we will do them on Monday. It's a bit of trial and error because the method isn't completely down at the moment. It's been so nice having Lilia, as you've seen her in my videos, helping me out. And Yannick too, but he's not here today. Uh, it makes such a change from being back in Aberdeen and doing everything by myself. So having helpers is strange but very, very nice. Uh, it's quite nice for my brain to relax a little bit and I don't have to think about everything because I have people who are also thinking about what I need and going to get the stuff that I need and helping me to clean and everything. It's, it's a luxury. <laughs> I can't get used to it too much because I will not have this when I go back to Aberdeen. I'm just going to wait for another five minutes until my plates have sterilized and then I'm going to plate them up in the hood, which I will show you. Have my plates i took the first reading and i'm going to put them under the light so the algae can grow in the presence of the samples also kind of looks like a hospital here like a creepy hospital <laughs> i don't know if that's just me that's the vibes i'm getting anyway